Hi, so the nice people at Reverpoint have um, have sent me a new package today, and it is the Pop Mini. Um, so this is the first unboxing video I've ever done. So let's have a little look. Um, what's in here? What do we get in here? Okay, that looks like a new turntable. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's a lot bigger than the other one. Um, here's the other one for comparison. So, this is difficult. This is the first time I've ever done this, so please don't be too harsh. Um, yeah, so it's got the dots pre-installed. It's about the same size, I think, as the remote base. Oh no, the remote base is bigger. Um, as you can see, but what is neat is it's got a little on off switch. I like that That's really useful because the amount of times you want to stop or pause or make an intermittent um, Change I don't know what that little button is maybe a reversing switch. I don't know uh, let's, have, let's see what's in here let's Drop things it's probably the power supply um, Yeah, so you just got a little cable and power supply there and some adapters that's out of the way ah, they sent me um, a cool little t-shirt as well excellent right now for the main event um, there you go there we have the new pop mini now I don't really know too much about this so this is just going to be a very basic unboxing video. So let's see what we've got. So we've got some dots in there, uh, some accessories, cables, as always, if you've ever done a, or had the, uh, the previous version. There we go. Um, what have we got in here? Yeah, it just looks like standard cables. We've got the... tripod this one looks like a little SpaceX rocket oh blimey it really opens up yeah that's, that's really that's different okay and we have a little tiny Agrippa look at that it's a little tiny little thing it's about the half the size of the one you get in the, um, the pop 2 and finally, the main event is the Mini. Wow, it's heavy. I didn't expect it to be that heavy. Let's take it out. Got another phone holder. <laughs> Great, need these. These are really good. So there you go, there's the Pop Mini. Let's put that on the tripod and then show you that back to back. It's nice and sturdy. That does look really nicely made, actually. Um, it's got a little hexagonal sort of thing. Let's get the pot two out and you can see the difference between them. So there it is end on. There it is top down to the side. Oh this is really difficult. Okay so that's not it's not too much different to be honest. It's it's not a huge amount there you go side by side. It's only a wiggle bit different, but it's what it performs like. So the, the tripod's totally different. There you go. That's a pop mini. I'll fire that up later and um, and see what actually what it's good at and what it's not so good at. I got a little pause button on the back, the same as the yeah. It's still quite firm. Yeah. And what happens? This is the this is the probably the worst feature of the, of the scanner. So when you um, when you push and stop, you end up pitching it forward. So like that, if you're holding it like that, and you push it down, which is no real good. So I usually try and push it that way, but that button is quite hard to press. It's not tactile enough. Ideally, I think someone else pointed this out. It should be on the top like there, so you go and you can pinch it. That would be the best bet. But oh, it's really nitpicking. Um, so yeah, Riverpoint sent me this for free to test. Um, as you know, I've been doing a lot of videos. So yeah, as soon as I get the software, um, we'll see how it works. The, the key here is it actually uses a blue light source instead of a red one. 
and uh, that should mean better accuracy, um, better for dark objects, and uh, just don't shine it in your eyes.